Hi guys, Karen B. Sweater here. I am so excited to bring you day three of our mind and body makeover. Today you will be performing a cardio and core workout. In the first segment, you will do a cardio workout performing 10 exercises for 45 seconds with a 15 second active rest in between. I want you to make sure that you're working to your fullest potential, but listening to your body. Use the modifications that I give you and work at your pace. That's good and challenging for you, keeping in mind any injuries you may have. Even if you have to march in place while we're doing something else, that is okay. That is a step. Keep moving, have fun, and let's go sweat. So go ahead, let's start moving. We're gonna start with a little jog just to get the blood flowing, get the body warmed, and ready to go. Okay, today we're gonna perform 10 exercises for 45 seconds each with a 10 second rest in between. You can feel free guys to modify anything you need today. So if I'm jumping or if my knees are going high, feel free to take it to a march or keep the knees a little bit lower to keep that intensity down. So I want you to listen to your body, challenge yourself where you need, always staying safe and in good form and alignment. Are we ready to go? Okay, so we're jacking it out. And again, like I said, this might be a march for you today. That's okay. We want to work for the 10 minutes. So, are we ready? Keeping it moving. I'm going to start our timer and our warm-up is going to proceed right into our workout. So let's just get moving here. And then you're going to take it a little bit higher with those legs. So draw the heels up to the seat. Keeping everything strong today. We ready to sweat, guys? 10 minutes here is all it takes. Let's go. All right, start with a little march now. We're just going to get moving here to a little step touch. So bend your knees, staying strong. About 30 more seconds to our warm up. Adding some punches, crossing that line of the body. Bend and reach. That's it. Get that upper body moving. You are strong, guys. I want to see you work today. All right, are we ready? We're going to get moving with exercise one. So come here, a little step touch. Hold that step touch. All right, first exercise. So you can always use my base move, which I will give you for our active rest portion for your high intensity if you need to modify. So option one, you're here. Option two, you're going to some side skaters, okay? Reaching down to the floor, keeping the chest lifted up high, abdominals are in, okay? If you needed to modify this or if you're newer to coming back and working out, hold that step touch, guys. It's about getting the body moving each day a little bit more. Challenge yourself here. Let's go. 20 more seconds. We're already at exercise one. How about it? Push. You're going. Reaching behind. Good. Starting to feel yourself get out of breath a little bit. Five seconds to recover here. Four, two, and one. All right. Bring me some knees up. So like I said, this is our rest, but we're still gonna move. So a little high knee march, preparing for our next exercise. We're gonna be on the floor, coming into some mountain climbers. So, let's go, getting started here. Abdominals in, knees in, and we're climbing those knees. Palms under the shoulders. Okay, if you need a little more, guys, pick up that intensity. You're working for that 45 seconds on, go. Woo. Now we're getting warm, my friends. Push. You got it. Go to the finish. 20 seconds. Let's go. Push. Push. Remember, you are strong. Challenge yourself. Create change for your body. 10 seconds. How are we doing? Woo. We're getting there. We're feeling it. Finishing to your end. Go. And rest. Bring the heels up to the seat. Okay? Little active rest. A few more seconds here. We're pulling the heels up. Up down the those in. Next option. A little more intense. 45 seconds on. Now you can keep it low if you need. But challenge yourself where you can today, guys. Butt kicks. Work it. Go. Your arms are driving back. Heels are coming to your seat. Nice, tall, strong posture. Woo. Okay, you should be out of breath, but if I was able to ask you a question, you should be able to answer me out of breath, but able to speak. 
That's the intensity you're going here. Hard and strong. Go. Let's have 10 seconds. Push. Five, four, two, and recover. Heel taps. Give me some taps forward. Okay, so your next exercise, we're gonna go into some scissor legs with jump rope. Modification, staying right here. You got it, guys. Push. Are you ready? All right, 45 seconds. Those legs are coming to a scissor. You're jumping that rope. Strong core. Let's go. Nice. Keep it moving. Push, guys. 45 seconds usually doesn't seem long, right? <laughs> Until we're jumping around. And it feels like forever. Let's see how much better you're going to feel when you're all done. Keep it going. How are we doing? You're moving. I know. Go. 10 seconds. If you need more, you're taking up that tempo. Little soft bend to the knee. Keeping the core strong. Go. And recover. Arms and legs. This is low intensity. Okay. Your 15 second rest. High intensity for 45 seconds. It's a low squat jack. You're here. Option one, you know. Option two, stay low. Wings in the heels, belly's in. Go. Go. Feel those legs getting worked. Push, guys. Woo. You got it. Go, go. How are we doing? Go. To the end. Hips are back. Belly's in. You can always modify this with a basic jack without that squat. This squat really is building that intensity in the quads, in the glutes. Push. Woo. How are we doing? Guys, five, four, three, two, recover. All right, recover here. Walk, walk, in, in. Down. Walk, walk, in, in. This is your rest. Oh yeah. All right, you can stay there. Are you ready? Option two, high intensity, go. Knees, knees, in, up. So it's a side helper, we come to one elbow, come to the other, in, to the sky. In, use the core. Woo, I'm feeling the legs now, go. One, two, keep the legs together. Three, reach it up. Try to alternate the elbows. How are we feeling, guys? My legs are on fire. Less than 10. Go, less than five. Give me that one, never stop. Nice job, guys. Step touch. You ready? One, two. This is your rest phase. Little recovery. It's a big recovery that time, right? All right, side shuffle. Higher intensity, 45 seconds. Stay low, tap the floor. Lower intensity, you're moving. Go. Chest is up, abdominals in, hips drive back. Work it, guys. How we doing? This should feel like work now. Legs are feeling this. You're feeling that. Out of breath. Less than 10. Go. Push. And one. Act of rest. Come to your mat. Hands on. All fours position. Hold. Knees up. Knees down. Knees up. Knees down. Option two, you ready? Pivot the hips, kick, come back. So it's a hip swivel, kick through. Feel the obliques, feel the legs, that core is kicking in. Keep the head lifted up. Nice, guys. Work. Oh, my quads are on fire. I did teach a couple classes today, right? So I'm gonna listen to my body. 
pull at my pace, stay strong, go, 10 seconds, push guys, less than five, how we doing, feeling this, and recover, that was great, can you believe, we're on our last exercise, can that be, Ooh, that went quick, two more, two more, stay well, all right, option one, you're here, Get your recovery, Let's go, quick feet, 45 seconds, go. Belly's in, you're working it. Push, guys, stay low, arms are in, everything should be moving here. Quick as you can go, legs are moving, go. Are you swinging yet? I know I am. Less than 20, push, push for you. Get your workout in, guys. Go. 10 seconds. That's it. Four, three, two, recover. Good. One, two, walk back. Little V step. This is your active rest. Little V into a squat. All right, stand here, still able to move. No way. Option two, jump squat, shuffle back. Jump squat, shuffle back. Walking or jumping. This is your last exercise. Go. How are we doing, guys? You got 20 seconds. You can even alternate. High and low options, yeah? Push. Less than 10. To the finish. And guys, you did it. I want you to just tap it out. We are done. How quick was that? Little march wide. Pull it down, keep it moving. Getting the heart rate down, unless you have a little more time today. Hit or play. Do it all from the beginning. Right from that number one. Skater intensity. All right, guys. You did awesome. Keep that head up tall. And little taps. Just cooling it down. Getting the heart rate down. We're still moving. You guys did amazing. Excellent work. So know and learn how you can modify. I always want you to know you have options. As long as you stay moving each week, each day, you're gonna get a little stronger, guys. I promise. And on the flip side, if you need more intensity, power with some explosive movements, right? Make them your own in a safe and controlled way. You ready? Four, three, two, and one. Little march out. You're gonna just walk out to me, little tap. And back. Little walk. And back. How did that feel today? Not a better way to start or end your day, right? Giving you some energy or helping let go of the stress of the day. Now hold your taps here. If you're going to tap, side to side. Good. Four more. Three. Two. Hold to that right side all the way. Opposite toes up, shoulders down. Breathe into the inner thigh. Hold. Little pivot here. Coming to that back leg, stretching through the hip flexor. Hold the head up. Releasing that all the way back to center with a little pivot. Come down, opposite toe up. Keep the chest tall. Breathe to that inner thigh and hold. And switch. Breathing into the back leg, into that hip flexor. Hold. This way. Woo. And then let's slide that leg all the way in. Roll to the top. Draw the shoulders down off those ears. In the second segment, you will be doing a nine minute killer abs workout. Performing exercise such as crunches, scissors, crisscross. In this entire workout today, less than 30 minutes, you will be getting in your cardio and your core work. Have fun, guys, and go Drawing sweat. down on your mat. And we're going to start with a bent knee, and hands are going to be behind the head. Make sure your elbows are wide. 
shoulders down off the ears. Slowly inhale as you exhale, I want you to rise up and then lower that leg back down. Okay, so just coming up to a basic curl here. Bring the shoulder blades off the mat and really focus on the abdominals peeling you up. Let's go, we have eight more here. We're currently four, eight, seven. Great workout to add at the end of your cardio routine. Push here, four more, four, three. How are we feeling guys? You got your two, you ready? And one, lower this down. We're gonna come up for two, reach down and lower. So we're gonna curl for two, reach down, lower and curl. Two, reach, hands behind. Four more, up, two, reach, hands, lower. Up, two, reach, right to the outside of the knees. Again, two more, up, two, reach, hands, one more. Up, two, you're gonna reach here and then you're gonna bring your hands together and lift between the legs. And up, four, eight, seven, draw the belly in, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower that down, bring your legs off the mat to tabletop position, squeeze your inner thighs together. Slowly, you're gonna lift the right armpit to that left knee. So you're gonna keep the elbows nice and wide, lower that down and switch. And you want control here and you want to make sure you're not really bringing the arms together or you're not pulling or pressing onto the neck and the cervical spine there. You want to keep everything under control. Good. So little obliques, draw the belly in. You ready to add on guys? Listen to your chain. You're going to bring leg out, right? So you're going to twist into a bent knee and the opposite leg comes out. It just reaches and comes back in. Reach. Eight. Start to feel the oblique. Seven. Good control. Push. Six. That leg is reaching long. Five. How are we doing, guys? Four more. Four. Go. Three. Two more. Two. And one. Finish here. Hold the legs to tabletop. Lift up into that curl. From here, I want you to point through the ankles and you're gonna press forward and pull the knees in. Pull. So the exhale is happening on the way in. You're using the belly to pull the knees back. Poke, pull. Eight, seven, six. Starting to feel this now. Five, four. How are we doing, guys? Three, two. Can we stay up here? Elbows come into the knees. You're gonna make a big X. Crunch it in. Reach, crunch it in. Seven, six. Ooh, I'm feeling my belly. Five. Try to stay in that curl. Look to the belly. Four. Three. As the lever's here lengthen, you're going to feel that challenge. Two. We don't want to let the back arch. And one. Everything comes in. Whew. Did you guys feel that? I totally felt that. All right. Let's start here. You're going to take the knees together. Drop the knees to the right side and lift up. Eight. Seven. Focusing on that waist. Five. Curl it up. Four. How are we doing? Three. Two, hold this up, little teeny pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop to the other side. That feels nice. Inhale here. Exhale, rise it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. How are we feeling? Two, can we hold and pulse? Eight, seven, Six. I'm feeling this, guys. Five, four, three, two, and give me that one. Bring the legs straight to the sky. Squeeze them here. Draw the belly in so we don't let that back arch. Ribs are coming down to the hip bones, hands behind the head. Inhale as you exhale, lift up. You're going to drop down for two and rise up for two. Okay? So you're really thinking of the belly drawn in. You don't want the legs to go too well at the back arches. So everything is stable and strong. Try to get the shoulder blades off the mat. If you felt a little tightness here in the hamstrings or the hips, you can certainly bend the knee and you can even bring the head down, right? So there's always a way to kind of modify by shortening the levers, which would be the arms or legs, so there's not as much intensity or pressure into the low back. Two and one. Right leg is up, left leg drops. You're gonna go scissors. You're gonna go one and two. So it's single scissors. Switch it, switch it. Can we go eight? Seven, shoulder blades are high. Six, 
five, how are we doing guys? Four, three, two, hold one leg down, one leg up, pulse it, eight, seven, if that's too much, this leg comes down. Four, three, two, hold, switch, 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 pulse it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. My arms are on fire. Okay, let's turn. We're coming to one side, guys. Shoulder, elbow, and then you're gonna make that fist. Push that fist down. The top leg is coming up. Pressing that fist down, bring your hand behind your head and rise up that low waist. Flex that top foot and you're gonna lift up. So a little side abduction, but you're gonna feel that waist work. Okay, if you think this is a little too easy for you, increase that challenge by coming off to a full side plank. Lift on this low waist, lift on that lower outer thigh. Whoo, that brings up the intensity here. Four more. Four, three, how are we doing? Two, and one. Next exercise, you're either in a bent knee position here with the arm up, okay? Option two, a little more intensity, lift off. You're gonna dip the waist and lift, eight. Think of a string here, someone's pulling that string, lifting that low waist up. Try to keep the neck nice and long. Four, you're feeling that low waist here, yeah? Three, two, and one. Come down, switch sides, guys. Nice work. Starting with that low leg bent, top leg is straight, and we're gonna lift up. Make sure the neck is long. Side, abduct, top leg. Go for it. Okay, remember if you need more, keep going. You're gonna come to that full side plank, holding strong, adding that lift. Okay, that's a lot because you really have to work through the waist or the abductors of that low leg. Make sure the neck stays in alignment. Three, two, and one. Lower to the knee bend position or full side plank. The arm is up. This time the waist is dipping and lifting. Eight, seven. Doesn't want to go into the neck here. Six, five. Four, three, how are we doing? Two, and one. Nice job, guys. Meet me here into your forearm plank. Abdominals are in, stay nice and long. You're gonna make a little rainbow, right? Hip drops, lift the hips up and over. Try to keep the gaze in the same spot. So it's just your waist lift up and over, up and back. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Guys, that was awesome. Sit back to a little shell stretch. Breathe into the low back. And let's press up to an all fours position. Draw the belly in to stretch through the back again. Release that softly. Can we try that again? As you exhale, draw the abdominals up and in. Inhale to release. And we are all done. Okay, guys, you did it. I hope you had an awesome sweat. You are on your way to a fit body and mind. I want you to go take a shower and get ready for day four because tomorrow we will be doing a strength total body workout. You will need a set of medium to heavy dumbbells.